What's up, Capricorn? Welcome to your September reading. This is for Capricorn, Summerizing Venus. We'll be taking a look to see what messages need to come through for you guys for the month of September. See what you guys could be currently doing with what you can expect. Get some insight with some guidance and overall see what's going on for you. We have the Prince of Swords coming out reverse, so we'll keep that. <laughs> if you would like to book a private reading with me, the information for that's in the description down below. If you want to follow me over on my Instagram and TikTok, you can find me there at Jade Stone Tarot and uh with that being said we're gonna get right into this reading spirit is already flipping cards out so we have the prince of swords reverse with the five of cups um if this deck will shuffle let's do one more we're gonna get a couple more cards for you um let's see what's going on for the month of september and geez okay <laughs> wow the cards are talking for you sag seven of swords ten of pentacles Two of Pentacles, Three of Wands, Nine of Wands. Okay, at the bottom, Lovers, Eight of Cups, Seven of Wands, High Priestess, Pisces Energy. That's the only main. Oh, Gemini Energy. I missed that. Gemini and Pisces are the main zodiac signs out here. Um, looks like you have a choice to make, and this choice is possibly about you walking away or leaving something behind. Let me just let me just rearrange these cards for a second because it looks like something's come to an end or you're dealing with this uh, you're dealing with someone could be in the family or could be someone that you live with or someone that is pretty close to you i feel someone who's close to you who's either been lying or been manipulating you or like something about the seven of swords is really sticking out where they, they cause someone has caused you to feel upset there's hurt there's sadness there's heaviness you just feel disappointed and it could be because there's someone in your life who's very wishy-washy very in and out maybe you're dealing with someone who's been spreading lies or rumors about you or someone who's just been saying really cruel things cruel 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 um no filter at all like they're just very blunt very hurtful it's almost like they like to, they they say things to, when you maybe where you may have hurt them and it could be i don't know whatever i'm not over, i'm not gonna overthink it maybe it's like you hurt them and so they want to get you back by saying something even worse and hurting you back the way that you hurt them like i don't fucking know it feels petty it definitely feels petty and i, I kind of feel like it's relating to family i gotta be real with you it might not but it feels like there's definitely history here it feels like you know this person really well um and so you're trying to figure out how to handle this situation moving forwards trying to do what's right trying to make a fair fair decision um so like everybody wins but also there's part of you that's just like i'm tired of constantly bending backwards and being the punching bag for someone to just continually walk all over me and treat me like shit and then apologize the next day and do it all over again and again and again like i feel like you're dealing with someone who has been doing this to you often and then they make excuses for their behavior or maybe you're making excuses for their behavior but whatever the case is um it's kind of like you're at this point and this is reaching a peak in september where you're kind of left with you're at a crossroad you're left with a decision like do i continue tolerating this treatment because nothing's changing i've stood up i've set boundaries i've really like laid things on the table try to communicate with them and it's just it's not working no matter what it is that i do or say uh so i either keep tolerating this treatment or i put myself first and walk away i'm seeing here at the eight of cups some of you are considering walking away from this this might be a romantic connection this might be some sort of commitment here um this i don't want to say oh my god they're your soulmate because you guys like i don't give a fuck what you might call this person no they're my soulmate they're my twin flame i don't give a shit if this person is disrespecting you then what the hell are you doing <laughs> i'm just saying it's your life it's your life capricorn but like at the same time i get protective over y'all like i care about you guys i can i spend so i send you guys so much love everyone on this channel any whether you're subscribed or not like you know a lot, of, a lot of you guys deserve better and i think you're realizing that and you definitely are appearing here 
um, like you've reached, you've reached this point where enough is enough, enough is enough. And you're really like your last nerve is getting smaller and smaller. Like you're losing patience with this person. You don't really like you're, you're done making excuses and the, yeah, it just seems like they're hitting your last nerve. And I want to say with the high priestess that's come out, I feel like you maybe haven't been, I don't know if everyone that I'm talking to here, if everyone has addressed this or spoken up about this, I almost feel like with the high priestess, some of you have been hiding what you're feeling. Like if you've been hurt by this person, if you feel disrespected or if you feel like you're not being seen or acknowledged or, you know, whatever the case is, however it is that you're feeling, I feel like some of you haven't been standing up for yourself and it's been creating this this inner resentment that you're carrying. And so instead of you addressing it or speaking up or being honest and having those uncomfortable conversations, um, you swallow it, you keep it to yourself because you don't want to step on anyone's toes and you don't you don't you want to keep the peace. But by you keeping the peace, aka you trying to avoid a possible argument fallout drama with this person because you know deep down if you stand up to this person they're not gonna like that and then it's gonna start a whole fucking whole world war three and you don't you don't obviously don't want that but then it's not creating peace right it's it's creating this resentment within you and it's gonna reach a peak and it's gonna boil over it's gonna you know you're gonna explode if you don't stand up for yourself and yeah that's the vibe i feel from this that's the vibe i feel so we're gonna start to clarify and see what's going on here let's take a look at the seven of swords and see what this is about could be dealing with an air sign um libra gemini aquarius tell me about the seven of swords for capricorn didn't mean to knock that over this is upside down no just making sure seven of swords for capricorn son of pentacles with the father of wands kind of the seven of swords for capricorn ten of pentacles and the hermit anything else for the seven of swords emperor uh, five of wands at the bottom so there's definitely been conflict here mother of cups and the father of cups there's conflict this could be conflict within a relationship it's definitely within some sort of relationship for some it could be romantic i just feel like you and another person aren't seeing eye to eye you're not seeing eye to eye there's a lot of squabbling going on arguing going on and and it could be extreme it could just be subtle but at the end of the day i do feel like there is some resentment here um yeah like you and this person is just because of it's interesting how the these cards are opposite colors right we have a white swan black background black swan with the white background there's you guys are being opposites completely opposites it's just like north pole south pole it's thinking of like um what the fuck is it called a magnet bra brain fart you know where it's just like you guys are repelling instead of attracting one another and working together in harmony it's almost like there's that opposite where you guys are being repelled from one another and you guys are just constantly at odds or butting heads and i definitely feel like something to do with maturity level is getting in the way we have a son of pentacles which is a much younger energy versus a father of wands which is a much older more mature energy um it's kind of like someone is like someone is you're dealing with someone who could be very stubborn in their ways even with the emperor coming out emperor can be a bit of a stubborn energy or someone who may be someone who's more like i would say emotionally distant not so vulnerable more rigid more more hard more stiffer and it's like maybe you're you're fearful of expressing how you feel because um they shut down your emotions or like they don't they don't validate how you feel they always try to invalidate your feelings like if you were to 
you know talk about an issue here with that five of cups like hey like when you said this it really hurt my feelings or whatever right whatever right over whatever and then they're like oh yeah well blah 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 you're being too sensitive or like you know that kind of bullshit and it's just it's not cool it feels very manipulative and it's frustrating and it just seems like seems like you're just not seeing eye to eye at this moment and with the ten of pentacles oh you know what this is the ten of pentacles reversed so there's definitely a foundation here but it's not solid it's rocky it's kind of falling apart this foundation seems to be kind of falling apart or you know there's some cracks in this foundation at the bare minimum there's some cracks and it's starting to show the cracks in the foundation are starting to really reveal especially in september as we have all these astrological transits going on we got mercury retrograde taking place we got lots of retrograde energy and other planets taking place and it's really just like revealing a lot to us as a collective and it's reaching a point where we can't continue to to turn our head to turn our close our eyes and pretend like it's not there like it's reaching this point where it's being it's being pushed to a head right the tension is reaching a peak so yeah like you know give me ugly gross kind of imagery of like a pimple like reaching its peak where it has a white head and it's about to burst disgusting imagery that i'm getting that the image that they're showing me but it's like it's reaching a head and it's it'll get it might get a little uglier before it gets better possibly and so you're kind of like contemplating like maybe i should just leave this behind maybe this isn't worth the fight maybe this isn't worth the energy um i don't see that you've walked away from this yet but you're contemplating it you're thinking about it you're wondering if i were to walk away from this what would my life look like would it be better would it be worse like you know there, there's a lot that you're contemplating there's a lot that you're thinking about you're thinking a lot about the future and you're really like trying to reconsider where you're at and if you want to continue down this path so it's a bit of like a, a sticky situation whoa look at here the moon and then the five of pentacles as i'm splitting the deck so you know it could be the energy of loss what am i looking into um what time are we at okay uh let's take a look into the high priest to see what is being what is hidden here what's not being addressed what's not being expressed um you know you really do need to pay attention to what your intuition is saying about the situation if your intuition is telling you like this is it time's up the door is closing i gotta leave this behind i gotta walk away but you gotta follow your intuition if your intuition is saying otherwise or saying to do something different like again like you really are needing to listen to what your gut your instincts are saying about this time with a tell me about the high priestess for capricorn <sighs> daughter of wands High Priestess for Capricorn in September 2022 with the Daughter of Pentacles reversed. The Lovers reversed. Gemini energy. And the High Priestess double confirmation. All right. And the Hangman at the bottom of the deck. High Hangman reversed. Piscean energy coming up three times now. Um, hangman reverse with the three of wands double confirmation and the seven of pentacles yeah there's really this energy of reevaluating what your next step is going to be where you're headed what you're doing in this situation are you going to continue keeping this ar around you are you going to walk away like you have a lot to think about you have a lot to consider and at times it might feel a bit overwhelming because there, there's just like a lot going on here and um just one step at a time is what I want to say with the seven of pentacles. But let's let's talk about the main cards that came out. I feel it's kind of like what I was saying earlier. I feel like with this daughter of wands, with the daughter of pentacles reverse, you've been trying to play it safe or play it nice and try to try to just like, you know, swallow your feelings, bite your tongue. It is stemming from like a people pleasing kind of kind of vibe, I feel. And um you may have been giving more to someone than, than than you've been receiving. Like, 
something about this connection or connections or foundation, whatever we're talking about here, uh, I was about to call you Pisces, just because I was looking at the priestess, high priestess, uh, with the lover showing up here reverse, it is symbolizing that something about this situation is unrequited, the energy that's unrequited, the feelings might be, there's death, again, like, going back to what we were saying with, uh, I don't even think that the cards are here, but remember when we had the, the father of cups to the mother of cups, and it was complete opposites, it's like, whoever you're dealing with, you guys are just on two opposite ends of the spectrum, and it's just almost like you're not really compatible the way that maybe you once were, and it just has you second-guessing everything, and has you feeling restless, anxious, having doubts and yeah you're having doubts and it's freaking you out and you're considering that maybe i should just leave this behind or walk away so let's take a look into this eight of cups tell me about the eight of cups for capricorn sun moon rising venus in september 2022 you're dealing with someone who may be inconsistent with their efforts or it's like they say one thing, but their actions show and display something else. It's like this person says to you, oh, I care about you. You mean a lot to me. I love you. But then their actions and the way that they make you feel says otherwise, right? And so it's, it's a very kind of confusing thing. It's, it's a matters of the heart and it's very confusing. Has you confused on like what to do? eight of cups for capricorn the star reverse damn aquarius energy you know there's you're not you don't have a whole lot of hope about this situation from what it seems ace of wands there's not you know like there's a small spark of hope but like you're having doubt yeah things have to change four of cups if things stay the same then we're doomed basically anything else you're going to the eight of cups uh daughter of sorry daughter of cups reversed here five of cups at the bottom ten of pentacles oh this is the ten of pentacles then wait a minute earlier oh my god i in this deck y'all in this deck <laughs> i always get the nine and the ten mixed up oh my goodness anyways whatever it is what it is the message came out the way it was needed to they're very similar cards but five of cups with the ten of pentacles and the ten of wands and the eight of swords this is burdening you <sighs> yeah damn like you just you just don't know what to do that's why you're probably here right because this is where you're at right now feeling really just again unsatisfied with current circumstances you're not really having much hope about where the things are going there's a um lots of sadness and it, the daughter of cups reverse like there's a lack of emotional understanding here again it goes back to what i was saying is like someone keeps discrediting or invalidating your feelings and thinking about the future you're like i don't really know if there's much hope here or i don't really have much faith that things could be improved we do have the ace of wands which does talk about new beginnings and having that re-spark of passion again so there's like a glimmer there's a glimmer that maybe but then again you need to be honest with yourself capricorn you have to be honest with yourself and i know it may be really 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 difficult because you know your heart and after everything that you've gone through your heart wants to give this another chance your heart wants to see and believe the good in this person and believe that they mean what they say and believe that they're going to change but then you look back at the past and you look at the patterns and you just look at how many chances you may have given this person or you know and it's just kind of like you want to believe that things can be fixed but there's part of you that's just like there's deep down you're having doubts and you have every reason to have those doubts you know um what was i gonna say you might be you really might be 
looking at the potential of what it could be instead of seeing it for what it is right this ace of wands represents the potential potential but the, the wands can be very flighty energy it's not very predictable it can die out at any moment the flame like this candle that i have lit right here it's like at any moment i could blow it out at any moment this candle this wick could die out it could happen now it could happen a few minutes from now it could happen in an hour a couple hours from now but the thing about flames is they're not gonna last right it's gonna burn out eventually it's that's kind of how this feels so let's get some advice Let's get some advice or final thoughts, messages for Capricorn regarding this situation. What does Capricorn need to know about this situation? Any final thoughts, advice, insight, wisdom for Capricorn on how to maneuver through this, through these times, these challenging times? Any final thoughts for Capricorn? <sighs> Show me clearly, please, and thank you. Final thoughts or advice for Capricorn? We have the wolf. panther yee okay and the golden egg so you need to listen to your inner truth here peacock information that's being revealed to you or will be revealed to you this month and you're gonna need to really sit with it digest it chew on it for a bit before before jumping to conclusions or making any crazy choices changes um take your time to really feel things out and observe and connect with your inner wisdom here with the whale all right and same with the golden egg golden egg represents um matters of the heart so definitely your emotions your heart is being affected by this situation it's definitely affecting your your heart you have a lot of love but at the same time is love enough and again whatever this is applying to but I am feeling this is relating to some sort of connection. You have, you're having to ask yourself, is love enough to keep this going? You know? And so we have the panther, and the panther definitely talks about it talks about that peak that we we're talking about earlier. Wow, I'm like talking, talking, talking about, talking about. <laughs> the panther talks about the energy reaching a peak and possible explosion. Or not 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 like explosion, but explosive energy um can kind of get ugly this talks about that um unaddressed issues that resentment that's been building up over time the pressure cooker it's gonna it's gonna reach its boiling point and yeah it's like with the wolf you've been trying your best to keep it together and be patient and be understanding and stay in control of your how you react to the situation trying to just keep it cool and respectful but it's just again like capricorn i don't know but you're reaching this peak where you're about to explode something has you pissed off something has you angry something has you hurt and i'm kind of picking up a little bit of like a triggered energy something has you triggered and it's something that is relating to your heart or matters of the heart your emotions deep 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 emotions and so as advice well the panther as advice talks about releasing advice for the wolf talks about patience the need to be patient with yourself be patient with others um and this talks about really needing to stand strong in your independence and in your strength and to not be afraid to make those tough choices and then the golden egg, the advice for the golden egg talks about needing to quiet the mind, go inwards, disconnect from the external world, the outside world, really reconnect and listen. So if you're like, I can't shut my thoughts off. I, I, I struggle with meditation. I really just, I can't do that for some reason. I've tried, I've tried. What you need to try is listening. Like literally just stop, listen. What do you hear? What do you hear? Just like really listen. Maybe put on some soft music, right? And just kind of zone if you can. I know it's, I know it can be challenging, especially when you got a lot on your mind. And it seems like you have a lot on your mind. But the golden egg advice talks about needing to meditate more. Um, if you if there's any questions that you have, you're trying to figure out how to handle the situation, what to do moving forwards about this. 
you really need to take some time to sit on that question to contemplate to really go inwards and listen to your inner voice inner wisdom okay <sighs> yeah so watch out because i kind of feel that panther definitely is the risk there's a 50 percent chance of things getting ugly <laughs> like it's like instead of the weather forecast it's the the drama forecast there's a 50 percent chance of shit going ugly today or <laughs> you know uh there's a 50 percent chance that you'll need to meditate today to calm down because something is really piss you off like capricorn good luck hang in there <sighs> heavier energy for you here's a little singing bowl energy get grounded go outside get some fresh air reconnect with nature just some little things to get you back in the present but yeah it, you seem to have a tough choice to make and you gotta go with what your your intuition's telling you to do and that will be revealed as time if you don't know yet that will be revealed but you need to sit on it don't make any impulsive decisions really feel things out consider all your options more information will be to reveal to you at this month in this month so just kind of wait it out and let things unfold but lots of tough lessons being learned here so hang in there i'm gonna let it go if this reading resonated let me know in the comments below leave a like subscribe to the channel it really does help me out and i appreciate it so much if you wish to book a private reading with me the information for that's in the description down below and if you want to follow me over on my instagram and tiktok you can find me there at jade stone tarot thank you so much for watching capricorn and i'll talk to you in the next one take care